I'm going to show you guys how to take apart your blower motor assembly quick and easy. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is going to help you out. I have a Bryant furnace here. And what's happened is I started hearing some noise, opened up the paneling, and this paneling right here, sorry, I'm in a tight area here. That paneling right there was along there. The blower motor was inside of there, and in front of the blower motor is the motherboard. And what happened was <clears throat> the shaking right here, you could see the teeth on this thing. It's now shaking and it's separated from the, um, there's a lot of space there. I'll try to show you guys this way. Go inside of there. Um, got a lot of shaking right there and it started wobbling. And all these little teeth right here on these fins, this wheel is like cutting into it. So I definitely need um, a new assembly. They call it a squirrel cage. Other people call it a blower motor fan assembly. Um, your model number for these is inside. Usually there's a sticker either on this side or the other side of the plate. And to take this off, you would unscrew this screw here and this should slide off the shaft. But before you can do that, you need to take off the four screws on the motor. There's also a little door contraption here where you got one screw here, one on the other side, and you also have two screws up there. You can then remove this plate, and then this cage will then come out, you know, after sliding out the um, motor. Also, once you have that model number, with that model number there, you can usually search, what I did is I searched eBay and I found one for 79 bucks on there, which isn't bad, so I'll have it in like a few days. Um, so that'll help you guys find a new um, fan. There's also a place called Granger Supply, and um, they're located in Michigan, but I'm sure you can get it shipped to you. There's other heating and cooling supplies. Just search heating and cooling um, parts right there. If you, I don't think you'll ever need a new assembly, but the motor, um, I bought a new motor just in case. I didn't know why it was shaking. So for under $300, instead of calling my furnace guy who wanted to charge me 2000 then he said you might as well just get a whole new furnace my house is only 10 years old anyways um i'm not going to do that so under 300 bucks i'll have it fixed myself you have a model number here on your motor if you could see that sorry i'm in such a tight area let me try to get in there and show you guys there's a model number on your on the side of your motor and what you're looking for is something that starts with this is my model number hc 45 te 113 by searching that model number on Google, right away it took me to eBay also again, and there was about 10 motors for sale, and I got one for $230 brand new, and I'll have it shipped. Before you order your motor, make sure the motor you're buying has all the exact same color wires that your replacement motor has, because sometimes they make other replacement motors for these, and then your wires, um, are not color coordinated and then you'll just have another mess on your hand also there is a capacitor on the side of this encasing and um, you'll have to plug those in where it's got the two brown wires right there so don't just think you can go buy any motor and put it in it's not going to work with your um, unit you need to get the same exact part save you a lot of trouble unless you're some type of professional who can cross over wires and whatnot so I hope this video helps you out on replacing your um, assembly also I want to talk about when you get this out it was real simple for me every single one might be different but all I had was two screws and it was hanging up inside of here and by taking those two screws out it then the entire assembly just slid right out but before doing so I had to remove the motherboard that also had two screws on it and it was hanging right in front of it right here so first I removed those two screws and then I removed the other two screws on this and slid it right out and then I got it out. So, all right, so again, if this video helps you out, all I ask is a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.